got to be a better way to get through this line. Look at what we have here. Zombies in a grocery store? Lining up in everything. That gives me an idea. Okay, Jamie, it's time for a pop quiz. In all the years we've been making Mythbusters, how many explosions have we caused? I don't know. Wow, 900. Okay, here's another one. How many cars do you think we've destroyed? No idea. Close, 220. Okay, how many volunteers have we used on Mythbusters? I know this one. A lot. You're darn tootin' it's a lot. We've used over 3,500 volunteers in the years we've made this show. We literally couldn't do it without them. That's why in this final season episode, we are paying them homage with two more stories that require some volunteer help. Like what? Well, later we're gonna be testing a myth that may prove that we've all been waiting online at the grocery store wrong. I felt a little moment of pride that we just opened our first business <laughs> and we've got all these customers. It's true. <laughs> But first up is a fan favorite that has become a fan favorite to complain about our zombie episode, specifically Axe versus Gun. I thought we did that in Axe 1. Well, Axe did win, but fans had a complaint about my Axe technique. I think they called it lame. Yep, in the epic zombie special, Adam's Axe killed twice as many zombies dead, 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 as Jamie's gun. But fans cried foul. So in this final season, it's now or never for a Dawn of the Dead do-over. You remember this axe, don't you? It's my zombie killing axe. And while I used it to kill zombies in our zombie episode, fans had problems with the way I was doing it. I was touching them and saying they're dead. Fans pointed out, rightly, I might add, that it takes a certain amount of force to embed an axe in a zombie's head. And that's something that we are going to try and replicate to make this more realistic. And to do just that, Adam's starting this volunteer special by breaking the mold. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Dude, are you ready to have your forehead split with an axe? It's too late, that's what you were born to do. Let's go. Adam's anatomically accurate fake head will help his axe swing be more real. But how? This is Jeremy. He's a friend of mine who has helped me on some projects in the past. Today, he's brought some electronics to help us calibrate our axe hit. So what do we have here, sir? Well, we have an accelerometer here tied into a microcontroller. And the accelerometer reads acceleration and deceleration on three axes. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hoping to do, if this works, is attach this to the back of our real axe head cleave our fake zombie in half and get a value of how much force that takes. Yes. And that's what we'll get with this machine? Yes, we will. Awesome. Let's do it. With the accelerometer taped into place, it's time to swing for science. Zombie killing. This is more gruesome than I thought it would be when we talked about this in the abstract. 